Hi, this is Andy Shaw. I'm lead technical strategist for Tegrita Consulting Group. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up reports that use relative time spans like last month or this month. There's no built-in way to do this in Oracle, Oracle Insight right now. They have recently added the ability to use some relative time spans like the last seven days or 14 days, but they haven't added um, kind of times, things like you know last month, you know this month, uh, or last year, that kind of thing. And that's a very useful thing to have, particularly for reports that you want to run on a regular basis. Um, so until they add a feature for this, there is an advanced feature that you can take advantage of to get these kind of reports and you know define them in a report that you can automate or just run uh, yourself uh, in, on a regular basis without having to redefine the time span every time. So what I'm going to do, let's take a look and we'll use the uh, email analysis overview report as our example. I'm going to open up this report. And I'm gonna start off by saving it as the email analysis overview last month. So I click the save as button here at the upper right and I navigate to my shared folder. I'm gonna use a, a test folder here we're going to call this the analysis overview for last month. So the first thing I can do is let's look at the, the prompts. We're no longer going to be, you know, this, this report was set up to prompt users for um, dates. So we don't need that anymore. I'm going to get rid of these date-driven prompts. And then over here on the criteria tab, the same thing. We can get rid of these. Uh, filter notations that uh, note that these are uh, set up for prompting. What we want to do now is we're going to add two filters that will zero in on last month. The easy way to do this is to look for emails that were sent after the first day of last month, but before the first day of this month. And we'll use two filters to do that. So to add a filter, we click on this little icon over here. And in this case, we want to filter on the email send date. That's not actually in this report, um, which is what all these fields are. So we click on more columns and drill into attributes. And here it is under the email send date attribute. We're going to do a filter on that. We're going to start off with the filter that looks for emails after the first day of last month. So I'm going to say is greater than or equal to, and there isn't a way to, you know, put in a value here that is going to always be the first day of last month, but there is a way to achieve the same effect, and that is to use an SQL expression. And I've got some of, of these preset up, and they're in the notes to this video, but I'm going to copy the first one and paste it in here. This gives us uh, this expression, what it does, if we look at it, it's kind of complicated, but basically in SQL, this grabs the uh, timestamp for the first uh, day of last month. So this is our first filter, which looks for emails sent after the first day of last month. And we're going to add one more. Again, we need to select the email send date. Here we're going to use less than and we're going to again add the SQL expression and we're going to choose this expression which gives us the first day of this month and paste it in here. Click OK. So we've got two filters and we can see they're anded together, which is what we want, because we want to find the emails that satisfy both conditions after the first day of last month, but before the first day of this month. If we go to the results tab and see what we've got, um, I know what, which emails we sent last month. It takes just a second to pull up the results. And sure enough, we can see emails that I know were part of November 2018. So I'm uh, doing this 
email in early December of 2018. So it's going to be looking for the emails from last month, November. So that's that's pretty much it. It's a it's a fairly simple trick as long as you know what to do and as long as you've got these rather complicated SQL expressions available for you. These will be in the the notes for this video along with a couple others. And you know, I hope you're going to find this a, a useful technique. It's particularly good when you're setting up uh, an agent that is an automated uh, report um, that runs, say, you know, this kind of uh, last month report maybe on the first day of, of every month so that you don't have to do that and they just arrive in your mailbox. Anyways, give this a try and um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and, and let me know. Take care.